And so it's harder. My opinion, if somebody says something publicly, right, and you take issue with it, I know a lot of times the Matthew 18 discussion comes up, you should go to them mm -hmm. privately. Yeah. But what you said wasn't necessarily one private and two, you didn't say it to me. You said it to four or 500,000 views. Right. So it's, I don't know, man. That's no, that's tough I, right there. But I, I think if we just take the Matthew 18, let, let, let's, um, Mike and I have had contentious moments or moments that were not as uh, sunshine and rainbows, you know, best friend time. Okay. Now I can pick up the phone and call him. Okay. Um, and, and we can get it cleared up. I shoot him a text message. I can email him. Absolutely. And I think that's, that's fine because the issue was between Mike and I in the first place. Maybe we were on a call and he said something about me or he said something I didn't understand. And I, I reached out to him. That's, that's one way. Okay. And I don't think that we can say, well, well, because Matthew 18 is only in church, we should never, ever try to resolve issues. Um, in the most civil manner possible. Agreed. By no means. Agreed. Now, I agree with now, you. So now let's let's give another example. Let's say Mike says something outlandish on this call. You know, he says, you know, something just out of out of out of pocket. Now, he said it in front of about 26, 27 people, and however many people can watch the live chat. Now I could 99 people would be exact, but go ahead. Right, right. I could <laughs> absolutely you know, like, hey, man, we're going to stop this call right now. And then me and Mike clear it up. We could do that. Absolutely. Or I could absolutely correct him right here. Or Mike could correct me right here. Like, like, hey, Mike, you said that. And no, that's that's not correct. Here's, this is why it's wrong. Do you understand that that's wrong? And we can clear clarify right here. I think that's perfectly fine. But I am not required to do that in a private setting because it was said Openly publicly. And publicly. I think people get that really conflated. And they also miss the fact that Matthew 18 is talking about in the context of a church. And you know that because once you go past the second step, well, first of all, who are the elders that I'm bringing Mike to? The the YouTube elders? The the, the chat? Who are the elders? Is that doesn't but, work. But wait, but wait, wait. It seems to point to, and I could be wrong. I'm okay, clear, I'm, it seems to be the context of maybe one church. Not like five people from six different churches trying to come nope. together and I hash out an issue because we all go to different fellowships and we all go to different church. So what church discipline is at one church may not be the church discipline at another church. And I think right. that would be confusing to say, hey, oh, Jason, I want to meet with the elders at your church and then you meet with the elders over here at Bethesda and we're going to pull the elders in from, from, from Rick Caldwell's church. We're all going to meet online and try to try to discipline Mike. Well, <laughs> what, I mean, well, how's that work? Cause right. I, you know, I think that, that, that needs to be stated. It's, it seems to be within a, 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 a local context, not a public worldwide universal. I've, I've heard people say, oh, well, that's going on you know, at certain church. So I'm a part of that. No, you're not a part of that church. You don't, you don't go there. You're not a part of that church. However they do their church discipline, that's how they do it. Now, if somebody came and offended you from that church, I, I agree. But even then you still need to go to that, that, that person's elder or that, you know, you have to do it that way. But YouTube is a very, very unique dynamic because as you stated very eloquently, this is not a church. It's not. There, there is no pastors as far as like over YouTube. There is no, um, you know, no, no elders. You know, I, yeah. If you say something to me about me, yeah, personal, personal. Excuse me, personal conversation is, is what it is. But the situation we're talking about wasn't private. It was. No, it wasn't. It was in front of thousands of people, and you know, Mike Winger made his video. I haven't watched a full hour and five minutes of it, but 90,000 people have seen it so far. So yeah. this is kind of, you know. And and the last thing to add to that is, because we hear this a lot. We hear this a lot out here in YouTube. Well, um, me and Rick have a beef. Rick has a problem with me. I got a problem with Rick. And maybe we're having this discussion in the open forum. Okay, so we're having it in the open forum. People love to tell you, well, you need to go to him privately. No, at, at this point in the game, even if Matthew 18 applied to it, we are now in the streets. This is no longer a diplomatic event. This is now guerrilla warfare, if you will. I'm putting my old camera back up. 
um, it's not working. We can't get up with one hand. But yeah, it it, it, I hate to say it, but we we are we are um, yeah. We're, this is this is in the streets. So yeah, I could call Rick, but you know what? Rick put out a diss track, and guess what? I'm gonna put out a diss track too. Rick corrected my pronunciation of Philemon. Well, I'm gonna correct his pronunciation of Shamgar. I mean, that's just it. Now we could be bigger men and step down. But the idea, the notion that the ongoing, you need to go privately at this point in the game, it's already over. That's, that's a, that, that ship has already sailed. 